Crimp light. For this look, the plan is to crimp and keep crimping to create the ultimate light and airy texture. A great look on its own and also a fantastic starter for various styles. You know you'll need a crimping iron, but also gather up your other tools. Let's get down to basics. Your model's hair. Step one, prepare. To prepare the hair, brush it with a flat brush Make sure there are no tangles in your way. Step two, dampen. Dampen the hair uniformly using a water spray. Work your way upwards with a comb, making sure the hair is smooth and tangle-free. Step three, add mousse. Freshly combed and ready to go, you'll want to use mousse in order to achieve longer lasting texture and style. Using the large teeth of a styling comb, transfer the foam from your hand to the hair. Apply it evenly, working down from the roots. It's important that the mousse spreads uniformly as you work down the hair. Step four, blow dry. At this point, it's important to ensure perfectly dry hair from root to tip before moving on. You can choose to lift the roots, but there should be no curl at the tips of the hair. This is your finished look after blow drying. Step five, clip and crimp. Please remember that hot hair tools are just that, hot. Severe burns can occur if used incorrectly. Always be cautious and aware. To move on to the crimp, you can either pin the hair up in sections or carry on as is. And now on to the crimping. The perfect tool to create this style is a crimping iron with medium-sized wave plates. Generally speaking, set the heat around medium-high, but be prepared to adjust for hair thickness lower heat for fine hair, higher for thicker. This texture requires a precise technique to result in a light, airy texture, so please follow the next few steps carefully. Make your mark, keeping the crimper perpendicular to the hair. My preference is to start in the middle of the length, but you can go from anywhere. Holding the hair out at an angle from the head will help to stagger the crimp prints, allowing for a lighter texture when the hair is brushed out. Crimp the sections right next to each other, directly edge to edge. Having to fill in uncrimped gaps later on makes for a messy look. Complete each section until the whole head is crimped.
To achieve a lighter texture, now go back in and crimp the hair vertically, moving upwards towards the roots. Once the whole head is crimped at this angle, gently comb out the hair to test the lightness of the texture, as well as to release any tangles. For the third crimping angle, think 45 degrees. Also note that from this point forward, you'll hold the hair sections as parallel to the head as possible. This will create and maintain lightness and shape. For the fourth angle, return to the vertical, once again crimping the hair upwards as in angle two. This will continue to soften the crimp marks while securing a styled look. And for the final angle, flip the 45 degrees from angle three and repeat the process until all of the hair is crimped. Step six. Finishing. Once you've completed the crimp, brush the hair out using a flat brush to open the texture and reveal the volume and shape. Five rounds down, the finished texture is light and airy voluminous and versatile. An eye-catching look when left free-flowing, or a great base to pull back into a ponytail, loose braid, or up into a topknot.